Hey friend, I am so glad to connect with you at the beginning of this year, 2022. And I just wanted to share a little bit about 2022. Now, I am not going to be one of those preachers and one of these people that will promise you that 2022 will go without a glitch, that everything will be just perfect, that you wouldn't have any issue whatsoever. Because guess what? We heard the same thing when 2020 started. We heard people telling us that 2020 will be a perfect year, the year of vision 2020 that we will accomplish everything we set ourselves to accomplish. Unfortunately, 2020 was the worst year of our life. We kept on losing everything. We lost our comfort. We lost friends. We lost family. We lost job. We lost businesses. We even lost the ability to have paper toilet. 2021 was the same thing. We heard people telling us that this year will be better. 2021 will be much better. Unfortunately, even 2021 was just as bad. We kept on losing everything so I am not going to be one of these people that will tell you that 2022 will be just perfect because I don't want you to end up at the end of the year and look at me and think that I told you a lie but can I just tell you though that if God was able to protect you during 2020 if God was able to protect you during 2021 the very same God is still able to protect you during 2022. So God will be with you. And I believe that you can be successful because let me tell you this, looking at our story today, it reminds me of the story of the Israelite. The Israelite made it through the Red Sea. The Israelite made it through the desert. Now the Israelite were standing in front of the Jordan River. God came to the new leader, Joshua, to let him know that Moses was no longer there, that he will be the new leader. But God promised Joshua, that he will be with him just like he was with Moses, that he will give him victory over his enemies, that he will allow him to step into the promised land, that wherever he set his foot on, those land, those places will be given to him. God told him not to worry, not to be afraid, not to be dismayed, because he will be with him. He will never leave him nor forsake him. God also talked to him about some clear instruction. God told Joshua about the book of law, that the book of law should not depart from him, that he should meditate on it day and night to make sure that he does everything that is in it. It's only that way that he will be successful. It's only that way that he will be prosperous. So friends, can I just tell you the success is predictable and prosperity is also predictable. The only way that you can predict success in your new resolution, if you put God first, if you make sure that in everything you do, God comes first, that God is in the center of it. Not only that you should put God first, you should also step by faith into those places that you want God to give you. That means that you have to work harder to get where you need to be so that God can give you those lands. And so I do believe that we will be blessed in this year if we put God first. I want to tell you also about my new resolution. My new resolution is to make a video like this at least once a month. And in this video, I will share with you about my new book. The title of this book is Engineer to Make a Difference. You are designed for success and lasting significance. Listen, I believe that God has created you and I to make a difference, to be successful. Why? Because I am a licensed mechanical engineer. This is what I do. I design system for success. I make sure that all the design that I provide to my client will be successful. Now, if an average engineer like me can think about purpose, can think about success. How much more that the God who has created every single thing will not think about success and purpose for you and I. I want to share with you what is in this book. This book will be released uh, in the fall and I want you to be aware of the things that are in this book because I am talking about how God took me from the Congo as a little kid, hard-headed kid with no hope whatsoever to a person that I am today so I can be able to make a difference in the life of other people. So I want to invite you to like this video, to connect with this page so that you can get a notification as soon as we have a new video and you and I will connect over this and so that you know what to expect in this book because I believe that this book will change your life. So let's pray. Oh God, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be in this new year. We did not deserve it, but you've been gracious to us. God, we pray that we will put you first so that we can be prosperous and so that we can be 
successful. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. God bless you. See you next time.